Today we're going to learn how to solve systems of equations. We're going to have first have to solve for one variable. So we're going to start out solving for x. So we're going to move the y over to the other side. We're going to take 6x equals 12 minus 3y. Then we're going to divide by 6 to get the x by itself. We're going to end up with x equaling 2 minus 1 half y. We're going to take this and we're going to plug it into the other equation for x. So we're going to have 2 times 2 minus 1 half y plus 7y equals negative 21. We're going to distribute the 2 first, so we're going to get 4 minus y plus 7y equals negative 21. We're going to combine like terms to get 4 plus 6y equals negative 21, and then we're going to get the y by itself on one side. So we're going to take y equals negative 25 over 6. That's what y equals. Now, we take y and plug it into this equation to find what x equals. So we're going to have x equaling 2 minus 1 half y. And we plug it for y. Negative 25 over 6. When you solve this out, you get x equaling 2 plus 25 over 12, or you get x equaling 49 over 12. And that's what you get. God, this takes forever. This sucks so bad. Why do we have to know this? This is pointless. Okay, now I'm going to show you option two. So we're going to we're going to multiply to get common coefficients so we can subtract the numbers. So we're going to take this this bottom uh, equation and multiply it by three on both sides, which will give us six x plus twenty one y equals negative sixty three. And then we're going to take this and we're going to subtract this formula from it. So we're going to have we're going to minus six x plus three y equals twelve. Subtract that. Subtract that, you'll have 0 plus 18y equals negative 75. And you get a solve for y. You divide by 18, you get y, you get y to equal negative 25 over 6. We're going to plug y back in to the top equation up here, and we're going to have 6. Boo! 6x plus 3 times negative 25 over 6 equals 12. So we're going to take 3 times this, negative 75 over 6 equals 12 times 6x. We're going to add this one to there and divide by 6, get the x, x equals 49 over 12. And that's option number two. This isn't any quicker. This is worse than the first time. Multiplying sucks. You're a crappy teacher. What if I told you there was a better way? There's a better way? I don't believe you. What is it? You can either take the green marker and submit yourself to all the power that it has, or you can take the red marker and walk out of here. God, where are we? I, I think we're in the Matrix. They have just entered the realm of the matrix. I will now show you its true power. You take the matrix of all the coefficients to the inverse multiplied by the answers, and that gives you 49 over 12 and negative 25 over 6. I feel so different here. Yeah, but I think I understand what's going on. If, if we use the matrix and plug in the coefficients from each number in order, then we can take the inverse of that matrix and multiply by the answers to each equation. And when plugging it into the calculator, it will give us that x equals 44 over 21, y equals 25 over 21, and z equals negative 47 over 21.
unlocking the power of the Matrix. God, my mind's freaking blown. I feel like I can fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do battle! To use your calculator to solve a system of equations using a matrix, first you go to alpha, zoom, and choose the number of columns and rows for your matrix. Both these numbers should be the same as the number of variables that are in the system of equations. Then plug in the coefficients to each equation. For example, if your first equation was 3x plus 6y minus 2z, you would plug in those coefficients. And then proceed to co plug in the coefficients to each of the other equations. You can have any number of variables when you do this. Just use the same number of rows and columns as the variables you have. Then, put this matrix to the negative first power, or inverse it. Then again, using alpha zoom, make a second matrix, this time with one column only. Then, plug in the answers to each equation that you just used. And, enter to get the answers. Your first variable being equal to the first number, your second equal to the second number, and so on.